Hey everybody, welcome to episode 62 of the Gecko Pod. We are a podcast for the Gecko community where we talk about um, breeding geckos um, in the hobby. We also talk a little bit about business once in a while. Uh, today we have a morph chat episode that we love having. Uh, we've had, what do we have so far? Uh, AJ Phantom and... And Empty Back. And Empty Back. Some people may disagree with us and that's okay. But I think uh, it's good to kind of introduce the gene and genetics, how it works from um, our perspective and what we've learned. And um, people can agree or disagree. And we're all just kind of learning together. So yeah, today we're talking about Anthony and Jess. What are we talking about today? Uh, cappuccinos and fables. Are we talking about fables? I don't cappuccinos, know. Cappuccinos, sables, luas, all the yeah. supers, fraps. Supers, yep. We're touching the whole, on the tables. whole complex of those. Yeah. yeah, the whole complex. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Primarily, we'll talk about the cappuccino gene and we'll, we can touch a little bit on Sable. But I think those genes are pretty popular right now, as we can tell, because you guys do kind of the fetal export, right? Import, export. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of breeders have been importing a lot of cap genes, a lot of Sable genes, right? Any other? Oh, Xantix? Xantix. Those are the most popular ones. Yeah. All right. Extreme Harley. Everyone... Oh, okay. Extreme. A couple, yeah. 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 Some really cool ones. Yeah. Like... <laughs> but everybody's on that morph chase right now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Cappuccino is the by by far the largest one that that comes through. Mm. Though. Okay, yeah. and it's. Do Jump you think it's that. because it's affordable now? Affordable and also the I think the combos are kind of catching up. Yeah. And so people are seeing mm. like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder what it'll do with my project right like you know yeah. what, what kind of cappuccino can i make out of that yeah 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 so it's, def it's definitely more developed from the petco days when you know like yeah. they're they're kind it of was, everything was just kind of like a pinstripe that was a cap or like a dark yeah. phantom or not even pins we have like yeah. that a little bit of dash yeah, yeah. yeah. none yeah. of them have like 100 yeah. percent pinning yeah at all yeah yeah so they, they've come a long way in this in over in just a season right one mm -hmm. one and a half two seasons, seasons. Two, yeah. two seasons. at least two yeah two. okay so now we have some really, really cap. some cap some caps look amazing right now and oh um, yeah yeah i think it's people are moving positively with the gene and so we're going to talk about caps today and um so for starters what are what is the cap gene how does it work uh so it's it's a gene 100 it's a trait um it's incomplete dominant um it seems to be the first complex in the hobby which is really exciting um that means that there are other genes that look very similar produce slightly super different super forms um but they're on the same allele so that means that you can't make double supers of that comp within that complex because you only have two slots that you can drop a gene into and so you can either you can only have one of each for that complex or you can have two of the same gene for that and complex. so that it's allelic fun. only with sable currently yeah that's what yeah. it seems like there are yeah. other ones other speculation out there yeah. um but i don't think anything's been actually fully confirmed 100 percent yet but yeah. yeah and what is the what does it do visually when when you have a cappuccino um gecko like how do you tell the traits what does it look like visually and we'll pull a picture as we go. You know, with just a single gene, um, we can look at different ones too as well. See what yeah, we'll pull, we'll pull a bunch of photos, but I guess characteristics wise. Characteristics. Um, so you've got one of the well-known ones is that like about halfway down the tail, you see a darkening of the tail. Um, you also notice that yellow and red is really difficult for the, uh, for the animal to express outwardly. So if you have like a yellow cappuccino, if you have a, uh, a red cappuccino, um, those colors seem to fade away real, real quickly, or they're just not there at all. Um, mm -hmm. So genetically, we're not sure exactly what's going on there and what the contribution is of those two genes, if it's the ones that make them look really hypo in color. Um, and then as far as like patterning, it seems to reduce it. White kind of stays, and as they age, they go a little bit more yellow. Mm. But darker, we muted, have seen... basically a dark mutation. Yeah, so it seems like it's, you know, increasing melanin or increasing darkness in a lot of animals. Like you can see yellow caps that will start yellow, but will end up 
<clears throat> like darker. pretty dark. Yeah. So yeah. so these these pictured are normals, correct? Normal cappuccinos. Normal cappuccinos. Het cappuccinos. So if you scroll yeah, up single, a little bit from there, Harry, you'll see uh, the gene layout. It's basically one copy of cappuccino, okay. one copy of N for normal. Let's zoom out. Uh, I can't bit. zoom out. Oh, you go. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So cappuccino with normal. So correct. Yeah. So it's just one one copy of the the cap gene. Mm -hmm. And these are various ones of like different degrees of other genes that are in there. The bottom one is actually is a phantom one as well. So if you click the uh, the little square at the bottom left, this you one? can just yeah, no 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 the uh, square all the way on the left. This thing. Yeah, that one, yeah. And then click on slide number two. It'll just this pop. One. Yeah, that one, yeah. That'll okay. just show the whole thing. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, I know you had mentioned some animals not being able to express red or yellow. And we'll look at some here in a little bit. But it mm -hmm. seems like some animals can. I think about a few examples, like some of them at um, with Ralph Cresty Spectrum. I know that like Steve Early had one for a while that was yellow that proved to be cap because he made a super with it. Yep. Um, so it, it is possible, but they're very uncommon. They're very uncommon. I agree. Maybe it's oh. two copies of the yellow gene. I'm not 100% sure what yeah. is needed, what combination is needed exactly to make them express. Yeah, but it's those are experiments we have lined up for the next like five seasons, basically, because it's yeah. gonna take us to figure three, figure out just four years, I think, to really really nail it down and see what the heck is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, no. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Sorry, I'm just fidgeting with all this stuff. Right? <laughs> no, you're Very good. You're good. Just okay, don't, put um, any, don't put any pictures of dogs up and he'll be really distracted. Oh, I'm going to start looking now. Puppies. Don't look at puppy pictures. <laughs> As uh, I'm petting her dogs. I'm like, <laughs> uh, anytime we're scrolling through IG and there's a puppy picture, I know Harry's going to click it and be distracted. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm starting to look right now. That's <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, if you zoom in on these pictures, Harry, you can see different characteristics on them. Okay. Um, so like you went on the top right one, like right here where my mouse oh, is. Oh, zero. Yeah, so you, if you look at the tail and you keep zooming in, you'll see like what I mean by half of the tail is kind of like darkened. Like yeah. the gray and graying out. Seems to lose a lot of that white coloration. Hmm. And then as as they're born too, it seems like a lot of caps will have in, enhanced white features at birth. Like their, yeah, lip, yeah. their lip, the base of the tail, the pinning at the base of the tail, which in the early days, you know, the the main ID thing that people were doing was they were IDing them based on that V at the base of the tail. Mm. Right. Like a white That's V at the base of the tail. Came with. Uh, if you zoom in on the, that picture right there, look at the dorsal. You can see it does like it adds darker melanin to like the center part of the dorsal where the orange coloration is. Yeah, it's almost like speckled dark coloring. Yeah, right there. Okay. So that, that area in that area right there. Yeah. Yeah, and like seeing Harry, I'm sure you can pull some of them up. Either the ones that LAC bought from Tigris or the Tigris mm. ones in general. Yeah. Just like oh, yeah. the so weirdness that those things add to like tricolor. The cap mm -hmm. adds to tricolor. It's pretty notable. It it makes a color of orange that I don't think you can make without cap. I would agree. Yeah. It's almost like a burnt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cap it's like, like super this, dark orange. It's not it's on their page. At the same yeah, time. but it's vibrant yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's, not it's like, like, like Cheeto, but darker and like yeah. oh, it's so mm -hmm. sweet. So this is a frap. That's a frap. Yeah, that's a frap. Frap, for those who don't know who are newer, it's uh the cappuccino gene mixed with the lily white. Yes. Yep. You can just see the slide number three on that one for the okay. As well. Slide number three. You can see what that gene combination looks like as well. Yeah, he's got a bunch of examples. There we go. Nearly there. Square at the bottom left, and then slide number three. I'm gonna do it manual. <laughs> <laughs> number three. There we go. One more down. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. So you see, it's the one copy of cappuccino, which is C, and one copy of lily, which is L. Okay. So these are all fraps or yeah, there's really some white, really normal, there. normal. They're all fraps, all of them. Okay. So yeah, talk us One through of them some of these. Phantom frap. 
teach uh yeah walk us through some of the characteristics Ooh. of a of a frap here um frap it's I don't know, it's really hard to describe there's the the variance is huge yeah. but so that's you the do... first thing on the tail that everyone noted was that the tail when they're hatched are super white oh like yeah paper white true. versus mm -hmm. the non frap sibling if it's just a lily it tends to have like a yellow tinge to it yeah it's yeah. a very very stark will be white like, yeah yeah oh it's a doggy i see your doggy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, we gotta we gotta zoom in real quick on this dog. Hold on. <laughs> hey. Look at the camera now. Is that, is that zero? <laughs> no, it's Nelly. Nelly. Oh, there's so many dogs. So many dogs. <laughs> how, many, dogs yeah. how many dogs yeah, are there? Three. Okay, that's not that many. That's not yeah. that They're calling us like little sharks. They all want in. Okay. <laughs> Okay, back to the front. Okay, back to the action. <laughs> we had the dog dog pod. <laughs> the pup pod. Uh, that <laughs> seems to push away the white and make it like really whatever's left is really high contrast white. Like it's real yeah. thick white pattern. But then yeah. they hit a certain age and they do like what that one on the on right the here. center right does. This one. If it kind of yellows yellow out. out. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them do yellow out. It seems mm. like. Do all of them yellow out? eventually yeah, not all of them so. no i think some just tend to be yellow like even yeah. in lily is that is that what that highlight highlighter kind of thing is i know people say it's For a gene me, i don't know i'm not even 100 percent what the highlighter thing is we have yeah. projects and we tell some of them but uh i'm not 100 percent sure yeah, i'm curious tend to I'm lean towards, maybe it's a, a tangerine that's in there that's what I lean towards. I think but there's I'm different highlighter things happening. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. everyone has a different highlighter. Well, tangerine shouldn't so be we'll turning things at... yellow. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I guess it can, but um, in nature, I mean, isn't it? Turn a yellow to be base orange. orange so, <laughs> but it's supposed to turn things orange in theory. I mean, I think, you can um... turn really whites or yellows, so <laughs> they're not white. But there's not even like. But I've seen, have orange, I've seen orange lilies though. Like orange tangerine. Yeah, then you got a tangerine lily as well, right? Like highlighter or like neon yellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a neon yellow for sure, like a highlighter. Yeah, I have like some like banana yellow lilies. <laughs> some of them. Yeah, yeah. I have this yeah. one. I think I sent you a picture of them, that phantom one. It is crazy looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you I feel mean, like our, our the, favorite uh, one is people piece, so. Is yeah, it he's like neon. I'll send it to Harry. Yeah. It, what, is what it the is highlighter there? yellow? You know, the highlighter yellow um, lily whites that get transferred, you know, if you breed those into um, cappuccinos, are those the one that yellow? Or does it have nothing to do with it? That's what I wonder, too. I think maybe okay. whatever the high, that's causing that highlighter to pop out, Yeah. that that gene, yeah. I maybe it's okay. really inherent in, in the collection of cappuccinos, right? Yeah, yeah. so From maybe it amplifies happens. that. Yeah. Is it coming from the cappuccino or the lily? I think it's coming from the cappuccino line. That's my guess. The yellow? Yeah. I'm mm. never going to find this picture. I'm not I'll show it next time when we do another episode. Okay. So, okay. So we have <clears throat> we have that combination. We have the cappuccino, yeah. we have the lily uh lily white combo so frappuccinos. And in frappuccinos you can make like you saw there you can make phantom versions. You can make red Orange, ones, you can make lavenders. dark ones, lavenders. Yeah, you make ones that are like those purpley ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this one's kind of a, yeah, orange. Have you noticed? So, another thing I want to talk about with frappuccinos, maybe you can kind of speak to it, how a lot of frappuccinos will actually kind of mimic empty back. Yeah. I, I think what it is, is that like, Genes are going to do only so much to the animal. So they'll have a lot of inherent characteristics that are similar. Yeah. But yeah, I do 100% see that. Because I remember when a bunch of the fraps, you know, when I saw a bunch of like Don's fraps on fetal and stuff, I'm like, these can't all be empty back. I mean, like every yeah. every animal's coming out, you know, like I don't see him producing other empty backs consistently, you know? Yeah, I agree. I was just like, he has produced some good empty backs back in the day, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, what are the odds <laughs> that all of these things are empty backs? You know, it's very low. Yeah. But if we go down a bit, we could see the one. And they have a really pronounced, Frappuccinos have a really pronounced head stamp. 
Yeah, that yeah. is true. Nor lilies just do not have that at all. I feel like yeah. the earlier frats had more of the, the empty back look to them. But yeah. as they like, getting more high white, they're actually turning more like coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's always like, still like one little spot on the head that just like yeah, but no some Lily of them is like here, some right? of them is yeah. just here now and the rest it's is hard, like white. Yeah. yeah, it's hard for it to like cover up the head. And a lot of times it's making the head that color. It's not like brown. Right. The, uh, the oh yeah, even one of the ones that's on that uh, on Mira is, is there's two. There's right above each other. One is a sibling, which is that one, and yeah. then um, no, to your, to your left where my mouse is, right there. Okay. So that's okay. a sibling of the one above. Okay, hold on. I'm where trying to navigate you? with two mice, two mices. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> two that mice. one does so, that, like, that one in the front, center left. Not. I would I would not even know that that's a frappuccino. This one doesn't look like a frap. That's it's not just a frap. frap. Oh, it's not a frap. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so yeah. you're showing like, those are sibling. That's a lily, and then the yeah. above is a frap. If you look, oh, if you zoom in, Harry, like at the tail. Yes. On both, um, on one of them, just zoom in on the tail of where my mouse is. Hold on. Okay. And then you can see like there's white patterning that goes under the tail, right? But if you look at the frappuccino. Okay. You can see that the tail marker, it does also have a tail marker where the bottom of the tail is really dark. So we've mm -hmm. surveyed like a bunch of Frappuccinos and yeah. they seem to all have that. Even if they're like really, really, really high expression, they'll still have very dark under underside tails. Okay. So there's a, it's a dark, uh, darkness on the undertail of Fraps. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I see. From what we've noticed. Yeah. We haven't seen all of them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But we're just getting more pieces, pieces of the picture, yeah. You know, starting to, because originally it was like, oh, does it have the V at the base of the tail? Yeah. Oh, it's probably a cap. Or now, we know that's just a piece of the whole thing. You know, that's yeah, one I of one of ten. They don't things all have it, have. right? No, the V. Because I mean, no. I think the V is characteristic of pinstripe. It is. It is. But like when we when <clears throat> we originally or when we had the um. When we had the empty back episode, we were talking about like the hash marks on the tail, and then yeah. we had some that didn't have them. So it was one of those right. things yeah. where it's like a lot of them do, but not all of them. Right. So it's um, not something yeah. you can go by. We're like, it has the marks. It is, you know. So here's a, here's a good one that that I noticed that a lot of cappuccino, even sables, also still have. If you go to slide number five, Harry. Okay. Yeah, the tail right. right there. That tail. So okay. zoom in on the tail. Oh. Right there where my mouse is. So so high tech of you, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you guys are using this. It, it's actually yeah, not bad. Cool. It's actually not, not too hard to navigate. Right? So like you see those little Sharpie marks? Yeah. Yes. They're like basically drawn on the tail. Yeah. So it's a really common characteristic in cappuccino. Hmm. A lot of them will have that. Almost maybe not that extreme. That one. So this is extreme, right? This is like one of the ones that I found that was like the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. you could see like these lines like that pronoun. are in it. Mm. Yeah. Pronoun. So it's so the the parallel lines you mentioned are not an indicator, but the dash. like kind of like streaking of dark lines. Just a line. Yeah. Okay. So like if you look at like zoom in on the other one like right below it. Okay. You'll notice that. Yeah. yeah I see. Zoom in right there. You'll notice it also has those little sharpie marks, right? And this yeah. one's actually a sable. But if you go to like other ones, they all have this like little streak. Go to one below it where my mouse is pointing to. Okay. And you can see they have these like streaks of these lines, which are really interesting. Yeah. yeah so they seem to all before. they a lot of them seem to have that as like a predominant characteristic in them. If you don't mm -hmm. see it on the top, sometimes you'll just see it underneath on the bottom side of the tail. Even the phantom caps have it. The mm -hmm. other thing with this little streak is that just normal phantoms will have it. So mm -hmm. if maybe it's an indicative of a dark mutation that's present, I'm not 100% sure why it has it, but cappuccinos have it. Some phantoms have it, um, but predominantly uh, a lot of cappuccinos will have those marks. Those mm, okay. little sharp so, marks. So so let, me pull up, let me just pull this picture because then on... Um... On Instagram, this is Ralph Cressy Spectrum. So this has a lot mm -hmm. of flat, that marker, right? So is this an indicator? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Zoom in on it. You can see it right there already. 
I can't. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, I don't know if it's zooming on me. You see, you see them really dark at the end over there? Yeah, right here. Yeah. The more you, the more you, now that you like, now that it's in your head, you're just going to see it over and over and over and over again. Watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is that a, one of the clearest indicators of cappuccino or is that kind of like what we used to think is the V, you know, it just might be there. It might not be there. The V is indicative of pinstripe being present, right? Mm. Where this characteristic is indicative of cappuccino being present. Okay. So got it. Or sable or phantom. Nobody knows what anything is. <laughs> I have found it on like, two of my phantoms so like i surveyed like a ton of my phantoms yeah and i've only found it in like a couple of them mm. yeah and I, then should I'm look at, like, I should okay, look at some lines. Lines. i know i say this every episode but i like never look at tails <laughs> i know you do say that I pretty know. funny it because there's so many markers like that back then like what do you mean I, I sometimes i'll be like oh this one's got a really cool tail but that's about yeah. it <laughs> i looked at a lot of bellies too but i couldn't like pin anything down on those. Okay, okay so let's do the I next wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys also, as we kind of do the next ones, so what are the variations of the gene when you combo it, which we're going to talk about next, right? The Sorax, Supercaps, um, the Luwax. Mm -hmm. What are the strengths and weaknesses of each of these um, uh, combos? So walk us through let's some see. of these, um, Anthony and Jess. Uh, let's see. I want to look at, let's look at the slide number five. We'll just start with the Supercaps then. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no, what happened? Super caps. Hold on. Strengths. I actually looks like an alien. <laughs> they do look like Cons. No nostrils. <laughs> because a lot of they just stay away from all the supers is yeah. my number one thing is what I'm doing. <laughs> we will be breeding some of the supers, but it's really just to gain knowledge. We already have uh I think we have six. Probably just the males, the females. I wouldn't breed something that. You just never breed them. So yeah, you're putting ever. super supers to supers just to for um to see. No 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 no, no 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 no. We're not yeah. breeding supers. We're, We're not gonna making breed supers. For Luwak and super okay. sable, so we know what happens to them in adulthood. Okay. But we're not nobody, breeding. For there's supers. no information on those. Currently. Correct. Yeah. Unless, I think, yeah. Unless like yeah, unless there's something that says hey, this is what they look like as adults. It's just data collecting, and we're not, we don't want to make too many. Yeah, we know what we know what happens with super super caps. caps. Yeah, super we're doing caps, the same yeah, thing. So like, that's not something we're doing. Yeah, we have, I'm uh, trying to make Luox and trying to make Super Sable as well. Yeah, but yeah, they'll, they'll pop this year. I'm not trying to make any we, super cap. <laughs> we never made the super caps, but we did get them sent to us and gifted to us, and we tried many different things to see if there'd be outcomes that would make them viable into adulthood. But as soon as they become like sexually mature or like go through like gecko puberty is when I've noticed that they start crashing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Between, what is it? 22, 22. to 32 grams. Oh, That's wow. about okay. right when you start really seeing the changes. Bone structure, muscle density. Their face kind of becomes like ducky. Mm -hmm. I call them ducks. Uh, <laughs> so, duck. They so go through a lot of changes. Really so quickly. And then after Once they go into adulthood. In adulthood, around 30 grams. They're going into adulthood, yeah. Um, a lot of muscle wasting. Yeah. Um, they have difficulty supporting their head from their neck. So you'll see them. at the back of their neck, you'll see uh, like a divot became, begin to form mm -hmm. where the muscle just seems to like deteriorate. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of like start looking downward mm -hmm. a lot. That's so, so sad. Yeah. So we maybe were, it's. Oh, we were hoping to work with the vet to kind of find out what is causing it, mm -hmm. but it ended up being a very lengthy process that we just didn't dive into. We wanted to see like blood work, what is going on. Let's look at hormones. Let's look at the structure. Yeah, we were and trying we to talk to, to a our, university. Yeah, we we're talking to a mm -hmm. embryologist or embryo. I don't remember what it is, but. Yeah. Yeah, so and then also that's too, gonna our... take years if it does go through. <laughs> but also they have to too, get approvals yeah. and all this other red tape, basically. Mm, but I, I don't think the animals will last that long. That's okay. the problem. No. I think personally, I would probably guess they have a last lifespan of less than ten, than, less than five years. If I, I don't guess. know, I haven't seen anything past three two. years. 
Or, I yeah. think the one we have, he's actually, we have one, and he's just like really spiky, and he's the healthiest Gumma, one Gumma. we were, yeah, the healthiest one we were given. Um, so far, he, besides being thin, he hasn't shown any signs of like pain or weakness or inability to do normal crusty gecko stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we've tried different diets, like a higher protein, higher calcium. Higher um, protein seems to help um, for a, a while. Basically, stay off the muscle wasting. Um, but it eventually still. So happens. it gives them a better quality of life up until they pass. But yeah. But you also have to make sure you don't give them too much protein. Right. Just in reptiles in general, that's not a good thing. So you have to really be careful with what you're adding to the diet. Yeah. But it's something that we tried to do and tried to. You know, see if there's something that we could do to fix them or help them out in the long run. Even UV light, um, or calcium, all these, all sorts of different things, and they they all ended up having the same result in the end. It mm. just kind of happened later in life, right. or okay. later, yeah. like through the development stage. But unfortunately, yeah, yeah. We so give we, them the best life that they can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that's good that you guys like did in depth. Um, experiments on trying to make it more of a viable, um, you know, animal, but yeah. or it, I think you guys were mainly just trying to figure out how to create better quality of life for the ones that already exist. Right. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That's there why they actually ended them. up with them was because they said, Hey, you yeah. know, what we're doing with the standard like gecko care isn't working. Is there something that you guys can do to help yeah. them out? And that's exactly what we try to do for them yeah. um, okay. for the super caps. But I will say I haven't seen a Luwak past juvenile stage. Mm. Was 12, 15, 16 grams? Yeah. yeah. Did it so look, did it look good it. at that age? Yeah, yeah they're they're great, normal. but so do all the super caps, super caps. And, and Soroks. But they, they were fantastic. like, it was like heftier yeah. than a super cap at that size, too. Like it yeah, had like good a weight big to it. Bug <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Love yeah. bugs. Yeah. Did but really looking, well. Looking, I mean, we'll get to we'll get to um, Luox, but even looking yeah. at them, they seem to have more characteristics of a super cap than a super sable does. So yeah, I, I'm a little concerned you, by their um, longevity. If you let's see, there's a good picture so here somewhere. Luox, a cap, and a sable, and then super sable. Wait, I copies. haven't seen a super what? sable adult either. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's so, one. There's one. Yeah. Jet Black yeah. has one. Jet Black or Rose Pink. One of those see. has one. Pull them up. Vanta Black is its name. It's also Phantom. Rose Pink. Rose Pink, they have a lot of sables. I think it's Jet Black has it. Jet Black, okay. Jet Black. Um, I will say that for caps that we had um, didn't have the eye issue or the nose issue. Um, that I didn't. Yours really had know. normal nostrils. The ones you had, they were smaller, but they didn't have an issue. So they didn't have like the bulging underneath to like gulping of air. The super cap. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we we were given That's one that had the eyes, hair. and I drained it a few times. But after that, like a yeah. couple, like two or three drainings, it just kind of stopped happening. Mm-hmm. That's um, when it was young, Harry. Mm. Oh, this was 91 uh, weeks Rose ago. Pink. So maybe Rose Pink owns it now. Maybe go to Rose Pink. Rose Pink's here. So reduced nostril, but you weren't seeing like the the gaping for air and no, not no. at all. No. Okay. If for but anyone that we did see that, it's um it it's already had an obstruction thing. where it couldn't drain its eyes anyway, which means it can't breathe through its nose. Yeah. Mm. so and then but we fixed that with diet and proper husbandry mm. went away within weeks where the previous owner had it for months and had issues with it yeah i don't know how to find this photo yeah, yeah it wasn't pinned at the top no i just looked at it the I other day i feel like i just saw it recently yeah, I, I was just that showing somebody it at tinley yeah, I think it is Jet Black, right? It's either that or Ryan. Yeah. Or maybe it's Ryan. Maybe check Ryan. It might be there. Ryan. Check Ryan. Ryan. <clears throat> yep. Right there. 
Ja. Mm -hmm. I would think it would have been. Wait, scroll up a little. Or let me keep looking. I didn't oh, no, see that it. Wasn't it. Never mind. I would have it. thought it would have been pinned, but. That's frustrating. <laughs> Maybe they took it down. I don't know. What is this? Super stable. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah I don't see it. Hmm. Maybe they're All right. <clears throat> you want to go back and look at Super Caps, Harry? Yeah. So look Super. at the uh, the Storak one on Miro real quick. Okay, Sorak. And it's got some super cap characteristics on it. Just to the left, yeah. Right so where Sorak, I'm so that's oh, so Sorak is it's uh two cappuccino jeans and then one lily jean right there. Okay, so it's a super so cap lily. Yeah. So scroll down where my mouse is, and then okay. that's I'm trying to point out. So something that the super caps have is more of a, like a translucent skin. Mm -hmm. That's what that purpley area is. <clears throat> so it doesn't. It's interesting. Fire some there up. is some super caps that mm -hmm. get patterns like this, like white. Yeah. Top yeah. Pattern. Yeah. So so they do have that blotching, so that you can see that in the um, on the super cap side. And the white toes. Yep. But it's just something I'm trying to. I was. I wanted to point out that you can like. Kind of translucent. You can see it's one of the characteristics of they're them. They're so cute. Because they're really translucent looking. <laughs> I really wanted them to work out. Yeah, me too. I tried mm -hmm. so hard. And then if you look at the super caps uh, over to okay. the right, you'll see um, you'll oh, see geez. some of the white blotching that AJ is talking about. Yeah. But what they don't have is those those that that white right around the fringing the, like, of the toes. and like the tiger in like this area. Mm. Yeah. Is it is there super caps that have head structure or is it just like inherently deleted by this like the I think it's the most kind of deleted by the gene. By the gene with because it's basically it's almost I, it's not making them scaleless, but it's it's kind of reducing it does modify the scalation. And, yeah. If you look at them under a microscope, they appear somewhat super soft scale-ish, where there's uh, gaps between the scale, the major scales. Yeah. Um, and you can see like a lot of flesh right in between it, and it's kind of translucent looking. That is my um, least favorite thing about these jeans. Even with the super sables, it's like, man, I just want the head structure to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't think they can ever have good Big crest. yeah i don't know what Ever. kind of monster you'd have to breed it to to try to but even that push it in. you know we do have one that's super hairy like fuzzy oh. scales everywhere it's the it's weirdest true. thing mm. but he's still like lengthy like he's like a long <laughs> they also have really long tails yeah all of the long supers tail, have long really body. long tails by like yeah i have noticed that yeah, about the tail 15 20 percent longer well, maybe if they can actually hold muscle structure, they would be big geckos because they yeah. have the structure, like the They're the long. length to have been. Mm -hmm. That's true. Big... They do have small heads, though. Like even putting a full grown super next to a, a full grown normal, mm -hmm. like their actual like bone structure is smaller. They they just yeah even their like In their head. I wonder if their skull would be smaller. Hmm. I think so. They just the one we have has such a small head. Hmm. Yeah, do we I mean this is might be a stupid question, but we don't know why some of the supers we don't know why they're unhealthy, right? It's just kind of the genetic makeup of them. The I think we That's see I think we see what the results of it are, but I don't know if we know the cause of it. Okay. okay. No, that's what I I was working on trying to find out information. It's like one of those things you just want to know, like what's yeah, causing yeah, yeah. this? How can we change yeah. it? But or no, super, that's a that's a very like lengthy the, process. Yeah. <laughs> but even blood like work, I kind of want to like take one in and just like get blood drawn and then just see it compared to a normal gecko if there's anything. I want to I want to see the hormone difference too. Like mm -hmm. are they producing different hormones? Because it's like right at puberty size. Because they'll be normal up until that that size. And yeah. then as soon as they start like getting that puberty and like getting, you know, it's just like that's when it all starts. Yeah. Going down. I know I had heard 
you know, when, when super caps originally came out, it was like people when they had little ones, they're like, they're totally healthy. They grow like just like normal geckos and yeah, da, 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 da. and then fast forward, fast forward to once they hit a certain size and that's like, nobody's <laughs> yeah. talking about it anymore. <laughs> they're about to die. Yeah, it's, it's really sad to see something that, you know, you, you put a lot of effort and time and just yeah. like, you know, confidence in as well, just deteriorate. Yeah. But there have mm. been people now that have them that have been posting photos and talking about it. And, you know, they've, I just wish there was more information. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, just, if we had of, more of it, of we would have like, put stop it out talking. sooner. Yeah. If it was possible. Yeah. But. but I wanted to have like a full report. I yeah. wanted like the whole. We I do want to get there. We want to get there. So, you know, we're, it's not like we're giving up working on a vet with a vet and a, and a, and a university if it's possible. Um, I do think people but, were just. People were just conscious Excited. of not wanting to get canceled over super caps, you know. It was like a hot, a hot say, topic thing. I That's will true. say Don had always been a hundred percent up up front about it. You can even see it on his Instagram. Like if you go back his posts, like even several years, he was like, This is the full grown one. And then he was like, We don't know too much about it. I, he was open to trades instead of selling them. Um, mm. People who wanted supers, he wouldn't sell to them. They, yeah, he like, but he would refer. He would refer to other people that had them. Like maybe talk to these people, and then he did make a post that unless it's for research, like don't purchase them, don't um, sell them, don't we'll produce them. them. Mm -hmm. like, he highly recommended against super stuff, and he doesn't have any. The heads are totally fine, you know, just like Lily. So. Just treat it as a, a like lethal, Lily. if you will. You know yeah. what I mean? Treat it just yeah, like Lily. Lily. Avoid, Lily, Lily. Try to avoid treating two together if yeah. you can. Yeah. Unless then, you want to watch an animal deteriorate in front of you. Yeah. Over the course and then, of like, eight months. Knowing like how, like knowing it's going to happen and having the proper steps to take care of it before an animal suffers is huge. Like, do you know where to go? Do you have a plan for this? It's mm. really big if you have a super because it's inevitable. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah, a vet. Time. We're good. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like now that we now that so many people have the cappuccino gene, and some of them are kind of low expression, some of them are hard to mm. tell, right? Whether it's phantom mm. or even just normals. Um, right. Do you guys feel, and you know, for you too, AJ? Like, do you guys feel like in the next season or two, you're going to see a lot of people either not have the cap actual cap gene that people have been selling as caps or they've had like, you know, two of the cap genes and they didn't know. And then you produce like supers on accident. You know, do you feel like that's going to be coming up? I think, I think possible. I think what it'll find it. I think it'll find its way into like, it'll find its way into like big operations eventually. Yeah. I mean, it already is in Mac and it already is in RCK, but like, I think eventually you might see cap kind of sneak in to projects where people sell the animals, they wholesale them or whatever. They sell them in a wholesale pack. They don't know if they're caps or not, but they just yeah. kind of don't disclose. I think you'll eventually see them kind of creep into collections. I know that was people's concern. I think that's also going to happen with Exanthic. Like, oh, it's already yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. There's people it's, producing examples yeah. that didn't realize. Yeah, the so I think I think that'll happen just like people producing phantoms and they're like, crap, this thing's, you know, het for phantom. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, and you didn't exactly. know so you're going to be making you're going to be making examples like that and be like, crap, I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to hit examples. I feel like caps, especially now, have a distinct look for them unless it's it'll be easier, easier than a true recessive for sure. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 it's true though. You're that's a good point. I mean, at least maybe with this episode, people are going to get a little bit more knowledge, they're going to be aware. Oh, there's these little sharpie marks, something to look out for. Um, you know, the tail, the, the you, you'll be able to at least analyze the offspring that come out, right? You compare yeah. it to the other siblings and be like, Oh, why is this one so stark white? Yeah. Got a different tail. Its development is drastic, right? So they'll start off in a particular way. And they'll develop very, very rapidly within, you know, three to four months. And you'll see a really big change in the animal. That's mm -hmm. something that you do not see in normal crested geckos. So I think maybe the people that will suffer the most will be the most, the inexperienced breeders, the first timers, yeah. 
uh, people mm -hmm. that are just getting into the hobby, buying a bunch of animals and, you know, trying things out. I'm going to make a prediction. I like to make a prediction every once in a while and then I get to look back. I think okay. we're going to see a real problem with people breeding like Sable the Cap and then making um, heterozygous Sable, heterozygous Cap and then not <laughs> knowing which is which hmm. and then selling them incorrectly. And nobody like I could see there being issues where it's like, oh, I bought this Sable from so and so. And then you breed it. It's a cap. It's a cap. You, or, you know, you breed, you breed it to another Sable. You're like, I'm going to make a super Sable. Or I breed it to a cap. I'm going to make a Luwak. And then you make a super cap. And you're like, oh, yep. like <laughs> that's going to happen. Because I'm already seeing posts where people are like, here's the sibling. This one is a cap. And this one is a Sable. And it's like. <laughs> so hard to tell. So, so, so hard. You know, it's like yeah. now, especially with the higher white on that's the, the cap. danger of breeding for Luox too is like, oh yeah, I feel like 100%. you yeah. have to almost sell those animals as like, unless it's really obvious, you almost have to sell them kind of as like it could be either one. That's tough. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's one or the other. I'd say the sables have a couple of characteristics that are a little bit different. Their tails are different than the cappuccinos. Yeah. Uh, the way they fade. Uh, they also have like um, on the hind leg, they have a, a an interesting mark on them that of the patterning. It's the way it's shaped is different. Mm. Um, let's see if I even did I even include one of those pictures? I need an example of what we're talking about here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So let's look at yeah that yeah actually great Terry. Um, so it's, the orange is different. These these are two two I mean, the same they, same. They are so for sure. Left to right, for sure different. I just think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna see, especially with maybe more, because <laughs> I, I just see the number of, and you guys see it too. You know, doing the import, like there's a lot of caps coming in. There's a lot of sables coming in to the same people, mm -hmm. and so it's like they're gonna breed those things together, and the yeah. the water is gonna get muddy. <laughs> I'm talked to a few of them that didn't realize that they would even make the Luwak, that the Luwak was a super. Oh, no. Yeah. So some people don't even realize that the Luwak is a super. And this, I've had this conversation like, I'd say like eight or nine times. Hmm. So not everybody knows that they're a Lelic and that the Luwak is a super form and that they have that the potential to make that. Yeah. Yeah. I think but, some tables yes, yes, are getting yes. harder because they're they're going further away from the original defining characteristics. Yeah, of yes. like the Rialto um, sables. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, they're it's, it's so hard. Different now. I feel so. What are what are some defining traits um, from sable versus cat? You know, is it complete? Is it to the point where it's like very hard to tell nowadays, or are there things that can kind of save us from, um, you know? <laughs> Knowing uh, what the they white are pattern is a bit different. It's not as stark white in the hatchlings as it okay. is with the no. cappuccino. They actually whiten over age. They start yeah. actually not very white, but okay. the yeah. sa the sable lilies start super white. Really, yeah. sable yeah. lilies and frats are be really is similar. really interesting. A lot of them seem to have developed orange patterning, but it could also just be that they were maybe they were just all bred, bred to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff yeah, like that. Right. Um, uh, the white patterning seems to be a little bit more developed and refined. It goes up and over and around, where cappuccino kind of has it restricted. Mm. Yeah, and um, they do. And they I do kind of break. Tail. It seems like sable breaks the breaks the dorsal like bands and breaks the dorsal mm -hmm. and you even see it when I've seen phantom sables, very few of them, even in the phantoms, you can see these like defined like saddling on yep. the back. Mm. Yeah. So one thing I've always kind of pointed out is that they, I, I always see in sables and this is probably just me, but I always notice three distinct lines unless it's like a quad. So like actually, use your arrow point, point to it for us. Okay, let me see. You can pull up like Cuckoo's Nest on Gabby's page too, Harry. Okay. I feel like that's like. I'll pull that up while Anthony's trying to use his arrow here. Yeah. I love Cuckoo's Nest so, so much. So you've got these Ooh, distinct drawing. band. Yeah. Dang, my Dang, man. Technology. That was, in the, that was in the original oh. defining characteristic was the three breaks. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just something that I've noticed in a I lot think, of them. I do think and, they do break the break the dorsal. I mean, I don't know if it's always three, but I think that there is. So the only time I see this breaking. exception not work is when it's like a quad, when you're breeding them to quads. The and quad then like, is super strong. It, it, what it ends up doing is causing three dots instead, roughly. Hmm. Um, so it is it's just an interesting thing that I've noticed. I'm not 100% yeah. sure whether it's all of them, but yeah. I have looked at a lot of them that come through, and many, many, many of them do seem to keep holding on to those three little line kind of things. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's why I told you to mm -hmm. pull her up. Here's Cookie's nest. Cookies? Cookie. Cookies. <laughs> Cookie. Cookies. Cookie's nest. <laughs> it's Snooky. Snooky's nest. <laughs> and then here's a uh, here's Skinwalker from uh yeah. Cindy. When he was younger, you could see those bands a little bit better, but you can even yeah. see it on him. He's got that top one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and see. then he's got the lower one, and you could, maybe if it wasn't so blown out, you could probably see a little bit of the, the middle one. Yeah. But it just, it's just an interesting characteristic. I don't know why it's always three. Also, um, have you noticed how a lot of Sables have head fringe, too? Mm. Yeah. So do a lot of them have had that head fringe. Yeah, that's true. Not all, but a lot. Mm. Yeah. And even if they don't have it when they're small and hatched, like this little guy... Like these mm -hmm. are the left the left is the hatchling and then like you know the to the right is like maybe eight eight grams more. You can see that oh, head. Oh, these develop. are the same. These are the, the same deco, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yep. As they develop too, it tends to get more. It's crazy how much white, sables like, change. Especially in yeah. the dorsal. Sables like change like crazy. what is it in the dorsal? It darkens? Like no, the white just kind of spreads. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Jessica's talking about, like, how the white has spread on that. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. 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 But as, it, mm -hmm. as they age, they just get more and more. Mm -hmm. mm, I see. And it breaks so down into the laterals. From, from I noticed the, that, like, uh, let's see if I can mark this area. So, like, in on the, on the leg here. Yeah. Right? You can see, like, this patterning that comes across. Zoom it, Harry. A lot of them have it, but not all of Zoom them. It. Here we go. Zoolander going in. Zoomlander. <laughs> blue steel. It's the same look. Magnum. This line right it's there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting that the, the characteristics of these the, the this gene is pretty strong as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like Gabby has like, let me show another um some of the the offspring from Cuckoos, just to it's a, a little bit more pronounced, maybe. Like oh, some yeah. of the look at that. Oh. <laughs> Makes me want one of hers. <laughs> yeah, she has that contrast down and kind of the uh dorsal, the breaking. Yep. Yeah, Wait, we have a Rialto kid though. Oh, yeah, that is true. We oh, do you? Have Rialto. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's um, straight, from it's the one that from um. It, yeah, it's from Cindy, but it's the one that has. Uh, she posted one that had a bunch of squares on the back. Mm. Hmm. It's I mean, that one. Okay. How did I get out of here? I was like, oh my god, that gecko's gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> With the original characteristics. Mm -hmm. I like how we're going down the sable rabbit hole. <laughs> we should have a separate sable chat. <laughs> we should. This yeah, does yeah. not replace what, when we'll talk about sable, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk more about sables. We should have a part two, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she oh, only yeah, has. Right. She only has. Oh, twenty posts. Oh, maybe she. Harry's favorite him. cat post. But yeah. it looked a lot like Rialto. Yeah. It's, it has a little square in his back. It's the looks cat exactly. looks like Rialto. <laughs> yeah, the cat looks like Rialto. <laughs> this you is a. See, you can see this dead striping. This is a saber tooth kid right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay here this is rialto the og right that we know of. Yeah, the OG. Yeah. so yeah it's very pronounced yep. breaking up of the dorsal yep yeah i thought i posted a photo but i guess i just did mm -hmm. it on the um our group Maybe. the care group yeah oops i'm so bad at like taking progression right, let's see. what's the next can we look at did we ever really look at the luox 
Yeah, let's look at let's it. Look at the, what? Let's look let's, at either that or do you want to look at the Super Sable and then look at what the combination of that Sable and Cap is? Sure. You tell me I'll you navigate. look at Super Sable first. Okay, Super Sable and Luox, right next to each other. Yeah, they are. That's, that's why Luox in the middle. So Super Sable is two copies of the Sable gene SS. Yes, SS, right here. So on the left, Luox is Cap, on that, Cap on and the Sable. Picture, they're they're yeah. pretty high quality, too. You can see the nose structure is different. But this doesn't one's have high that quality. Like, white. Those aren't, but the other ones. The <laughs> ones with my logo are high quality. I'm just giving you crap. <laughs> 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 These are nice, though. These are very I'm nice. I'm so picky about high quality photos. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so zoomed. Two, I could see these pores. two were in our possession just for several months. Um, and then we sent them back. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Super Sable. And the Super Sable. The that that distinct coloration they look, so, the they look so similar. But look at the skin. Look at okay. the skin texture on the Sable and, uh, and the Lua. Much smoother okay. on the... Yeah, I'm and if you keep sable. zooming in on them, you're going to notice that the transparency is not as okay, not really there. This is a sable, super sable, and this. So is... I wonder if that leads to not having those. You know, the transparency maybe has something to do with like the structure of the nostril and oh, I'm like, sure whatever is causing that transparency is also, you know, kind of skewing the skin and and doing mm -hmm. something to that structure versus in. The super sables. If you go down oh, a picture, or it has a nostril. Picture, yeah, I mean, it looks it looks like a normal <laughs> gecko. It just yeah. reminds me of Constantine with his uh, meme with this. Uh, <laughs> the super cap comes with a pin pack. <laughs> the sad oh, part is, God. I've heard that that does happen some places. No, <laughs> but you're causing scar tissue, <laughs> and yeah. then it makes it worse. Yes, <laughs> don't do that. Their iris, their eyes are different too. Oh, yeah. So if you look at the eyes, they have a different look to them as well. It's you can nice. keep zooming that in. That looks like a freaking alien. Keep zooming in. Keep zooming in. Oh, just keep zooming? Can, okay. Yeah, you can keep going in. It's like infinite zoom. Nah. <laughs> keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. The screen just turns black. <laughs> but you can see, so like what I want to point out is like the fiber that's in the eye. You can see how well formed it is. Yeah, but once we go over to one of the other slides, one of the next slides that we go to, you're going to notice that that how how broken up that edge is so the sable the normalizes sable. the eye a lot more as well it's kind of interesting the super cap you mean yeah oh it's fuzzy mm -hmm. so <laughs> that one is yeah oops we're focused on the nostril there apparently yeah, <laughs> but the eyes are over here but they do right both have is. they, they both right have like the lemur tail yep. like the the rings oh these are crystal clear okay so the left is yeah. the so this Sorry. one, right, so obviously yeah, the top this one. Yeah, super cap eyes are freaking messed up. <laughs> so look at this. Yeah, look at this top one up here first. You can go through it oh, as yeah. it progresses. So and that thing you can even zoom see? in pretty good on this, and like you'll notice <laughs> just how shattered that eye is. Like yeah, that yeah. looks like it. That looks like its no, eye it's just ruptured. Yeah, it's wild, right? That's interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting to see so close. And then some of and them have like almost below at the black score, eyes. Off, You'll notice that it's not perfectly formed either. You can but see like little shards of it. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, then... I can see your face in here. That's you. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can. <laughs> Dang, that's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Keep zooming. <laughs> Why are you naked? Actually, if you look, you see the wrinkle. <laughs> Shut up, Harry. Okay. I can see you're you see eating a burrito the... in that photo. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that's crystal clear. Yeah, this one's uh, much better. Yeah. So and you can look, see that one is a Luwak the... and one is a uh, Super Sable. So the uh, bottom right there, you're looking at that Luwak and that's Super Sable. They look very right similar. Oh, I see. They look I very see. similar, but yeah. Okay. The retic oh. reticulation is different. We see your umbrella set up right here. These double umbrellas. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the flashes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. Awesome. Uh, Super Sable and Luwak. So Super Sable and Luwak have sim similar eyes that look good. But the Sorak and the Super Cat <clears throat> do not look great. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so the Sorak normalizes it a little bit with the Lily Jean. Yeah. Um, and then and then <clears throat> uh, Sable normalizes it as well. Does it seem like Soraks are healthier than Super Caps or no? Have you know. seen a Sorak think, make it to adulthood? I mean, 
For a little bit longer, I would say. For a little bit longer. The, the Lily Jean seems to stay off the muscle wasting a little bit more. For a while. Yeah. Okay. And from the from the adults that I've seen from the Sorox, they just do they don't look now? as three of them? bad. With three Sorox. Like right? they still have some weight in their legs yeah. and stuff, but it's inevitable. Like hmm. I just it's wondered. Just, I just wondered if like if it helps with the eye issue, if it helped in other ways. I, I, it does, but it's still slightly. It's very slight, slightly. not enough to make a huge difference in their quality of life. Yeah, I still would recommend not breeding for that. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm. And some people have had the Sorox have the eye issue and stuff too mm -hmm. with the, the Harry, do we want to spend our last few minutes and maybe do a little bit of uh browse uh Instagram and look at some examples of caps from sure. maybe some breeders that are relatively well known with them. Oh, you have to look at the tail though before you leave there. Okay. Yeah. The the super, tail? yeah, their tails <laughs> the are really cool. No, and the um, super sable and the Luwak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the lemur, the lemur yeah, the tail. bottom, the bottom. The bandy. The walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they look crazy. I love that. It looks like a, it looks like a chihuahua tail. Yeah. Right? It's yeah, super it's really trippy. Very lengthy. I think some people had even it. had that idea in their head that they're like, oh, maybe do your hybrids. cross hybrids or something. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it'll make them stronger. Don't <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> Experimenting. There, people yeah. have definitely already done that. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else? Other notable items on this um, intricate sheet? Thank you for making this, by the way. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you guys are awesome. This is very helpful. This is actually a very helpful uh, uh, compare and contrast type of thing. No, I think you, we covered all, everything, basically. Yeah. I just want to look at some example photos. Yeah. All right, let's look at <laughs> Dino Market. <laughs> mm -hmm. You probably have seen some animals come from him recently. I have. <laughs> They're beautiful. I still so want some pretty. myself. I can't even uh, it's a cho -cho. <laughs> I can import them. I just can't buy them. <laughs> cho chos <laughs> too exclusive. What's Everything the is. What's the cost right now? Legitimately, <laughs> cho -cho? on what? A cho -cho? A cho -cho? I have no idea. Mm. I've asked and I've 30. heard the range so anywhere between like twenty nine thousand all the way up to ninety. 000. It was like it was like eighty nine or ninety thousand. Yeah. yeah so I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'll keep waiting. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if you accidentally lose one in your import? <laughs> they don't do that. That's not what they do. There is people that do, that lose cho chojos in their import and they magically find them. But... What a troll. <laughs> you love shit. it. <laughs> um, okay. What are we looking at here? Sana? What is this thing? So, I can't even drink. Cap. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at some different examples. Look, yeah. Is that a cap? Cool. That's a cap, right? That's so cap, look at the yeah. cap. Look at even the even the pinnings going all the way up to the head yeah. there. Okay, yeah, but the whole back pattern's different. Yeah. Well, I, I I agree. I think it's gonna get into um into the state of phenotype overlap. So I've mm -hmm. mentioned this a few times on high white gap versus stable. stable. Well, no, just like you know, you're gonna you're gonna see phenotypes that are different genetically, but they're gonna overlap in how they look. They're gonna look yeah. similar, and so trying That's to distinguish stable. which one has which gene is gonna be difficult. And mm -hmm. you see this in all sorts of species already. You know, so especially the ball python market, man, there's some that like won't have a single gene related and they look nearly identical. Yeah. yeah. So when you stack the right things together, you can make an animal mm -hmm. that looks like another animal. That's very interesting. Yep. That, that's difficult. Yeah. So we should expect that with with the crested gecko species as well, as we continue to learn more about the genes that are all interacting and all the different ones that are present. We're yeah. seeing it with Lily, where we're like, is that a Lily or not a Lily? Oh, yeah, there's some high expression whites, right? Yeah. I mean, look I mean, at yeah. the cross line. That seems insane. What is this? Is it a cat? Or That's sable? A cat. Oh, cat. Okay. Because it doesn't have that breakup of the on his uh, dorsal. I think it's cool. Is it a yeah. full pin, too? It is, huh? Nice. Cap. Those are caps. 
some of them are just really obvious, right? Like yeah. even though it has high patterning, you can be Ooh, like, oh, look at the hats. Yeah. The gilpins, you have to pull up their caps. Oh, yeah. yeah, go to LAC. We saw those in person. I was very jealous. I saw those <laughs> at uh, I saw them at Pomona. I actually told them because I was talking with Andrew and he's like, Yeah, man, like I really want to get into something, like maybe cap. And I'm like, I know the caps you should buy. And I told him to, I told him to reach out to you. Yeah, and you see did. that's exactly what he said. <laughs> and they saw them fresh out of the box off the plane, like super fired oh, up. Yeah, they did yeah. a video right away to show oh, that. It's, this, it's that video, Harry. It's this one? that one, yeah. Ooh, that it's one? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they told me that one of these animals dropped its tail like 30 seconds after the video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, we have to, how do I fast forward this video? I don't know. <laughs> we have to watch this whole unboxing. Is there not like a not like a progress slider on it? No, not for this one. They didn't have any. I thought not they had some movie. photos of them. Yeah, I thought so too, but they don't. Hmm. Uh, hmm. They, it's on Facebook, I think. Well, if you go to Tigris, you'll probably see them. Okay, let's go to Tigris here. Yeah. <clears throat> you'll probably see the ones that they have if you go down. At least some of them. Snowman, a funny name. So many tricolors, I'm blinded. Tri City. <laughs> what is this, Sable? Oh, like the that next oh, one the down. Frat. This one, like those, like that is like a that's Ooh. such a cool example of like what cap yeah. can do to orange. A tri Harley, yeah. uh, tri cap, Harley cap. Yeah, I love. And these guys, cool. even fired down, they look so weird and wicked. They're so cool fired down too. Mm. That's so cool. Yeah, this is really nice. I actually like this. Needs a little bit more white and you're good. Mm. Yeah, keep going. Cool. I think you'll see some. Go on, keep going, keep going. Oh, that's, frap? that's cool. Yeah. I, think, well, I don't even know if that's like frap. Yeah. Tang frap. <clears throat> oh, so cute. Package frap. delivery. They're going to be noisy right now. Feel. <laughs> what is this? This is cool. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a good yeah. one of the of a close up of what it does to that texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where'd the other picture go? Oh, there you go. That one, yeah. See those browns and oranges? Yeah. Crazy. And then like some of it just gets totally muted out to gray. Mm. Like that gray color is so unique. Yeah, there's colors, there's colors in caps and in sables that like that that animal this is that, like yeah. i feel like i never see that color in normals yeah mm. yeah yeah same yeah. with like the that color of orange that we saw and and kind of that almost like purpley color you see in caps mm -hmm. too I'm like i don't you ever see this i don't ever see this color normally huh do you have any of them those purpley fraps yeah i just oh. bought i bought one at tinley i bought a purpley frap from korea yeah they're wicked it's so cool, cool. They're, they're actually awful. purple. Like <clears throat> yeah, they're like legit purple. Purple's my mm -hmm. favorite color, so nice. Yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, just the, the thing that it does to orange is so cool to me. Mm. Um, any other examples you guys want to see from other breeders? Who else, who else were we gonna pull up? We we're gonna pull up oh, let's pull up Ralph's uh kind of orangey reddish ones. Oh yeah, the the one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get like his what's his main one that yeah that's a good photo that that, that one right there yeah, yeah 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 I'm all pointing at my screen the one <laughs> to the right the one on the right, right there, yeah that you need one. a pointer so we have a girl like that too look that at the tail the tail on that thing is like almost look. all dark yeah that's really cool they're so cool looking you know like look at how beautiful and impressive that is yeah yeah I like these yeah. Let's see if she has a solo shot of this right here. Yeah, that's oh. the sire and then the daughter. He's lion breeding them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right on his hand. <laughs> 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 All of them on his hand. 
<laughs> That's how he pairs them. He pairs them on his hand. <laughs> Anything for the gram. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an Instagram with just all hand pairings. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of casualties for Ralph's hand. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I got, I got a like a orange phantom uh, cap from Ralph. Is this? This doesn't have the uh, the lines. That, oh, maybe we just can't see it here. Would this be a cap? I don't know. An interesting animal. I don't know if it's a cat. Yeah. I think he's saying it's a cat, but I'm not sure. That one um, one down, that thing's pretty cool. The color. It's just, I love that color. The color of the orange. It's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And the bottom yeah. one, too. Yeah, the lines. But this one, you can't see the lines. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. You guys have any other examples? Other people that have the cool ones? I think we've uh, we've hit okay. our our time, Harry. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's always more to talk about. More. I think the the best way to figure stuff out is just examples, pictures. Yeah. Seeing, seeing, maybe next time we could show like some low expression tables and caps, um, because sometimes we'll see some imports come in. Uh, not imports, just people showing their caps, and I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't tell that that's a yeah. cap or a sable because it's such. Or they buy fraps, and I'm like. I don't think that's for. <laughs> yeah. So it will. Yeah. It's we can do. We can do kind of like we did, like Phantom or not. We can do like. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll get Captain examples. Not. Oh we, yeah. Okay. People send in your examples. Of okay. So fraps, caps, yeah. sables, and sable lilies, and then we'll do like a, you know, we'll do like an evaluation of them. Okay. Yeah. We'll do a part two um, yeah. cap slash sable, and we'll. Um, yes. We'll run through pictures and examples. I think that's been is really helpful for me at least looking at the phantom one. That's and be gonna like, be harder. Some of them are gonna be harder than the phantom one. For sure. But I think that I think if we maybe create some at the beginning, at the front end of that front end of the episode, if we have some criteria in which we're using to judge them by, it'd be interesting mm -hmm. to see how accurate we can be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the goal, the goal for me too for showing that is to show how difficult it can be for lower expression stuff and to for you know for new breeders to be careful of just buying things that have the name on it but you're not sure what it is you're just and kind of I, believing right i'm telling you right now i think i'm gonna fail frap versus um lily sable All yeah, right. yeah so yeah. many of them so many of them look so okay me. i have an idea i have an idea so what we could do uh, <laughs> i'll i'll build a mural out of it and then okay. what we'll do yeah, yes, is we'll be yes. able to go from section one to two, three, four, all the way through. Okay. And it'll reveal uh, at part two, it'll reveal whether or not it, which one is which. Yes. Okay. So let's we'll have a, 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 a suggestion pile come in from everybody and then we'll go through it. And then, and then, yeah, that'll be fun. The original crap <laughs> look is easy because the white yeah. was on half of the animal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. But now with the higher... Yeah, where it goes all the way up. All the way around, mm -hmm. and then that's when it's like, okay, I don't know. But then with Sable Lilies, you can get that like on a first generation super easy. True. Yeah. That's true. So though. what yeah. are what are the like multi-gen Sable Lilies going to look like? Okay, here, I'll add a no, section to it. I'll add something to it. How many of the characteristics, let's say we have four characteristics that define a Frappuccino or Cappuccino and four that define a Sable, right? And, mm. wh and which one of those animals, how many of those characteristics they all hit? The sable mm. lily get that neon color to them? I don't have any soup. I don't well, know. Have any we seen Do you have, have any we ever yeah. seen any? Yeah. Has a sable I, have, lily. I have a sable lily adult. But they're yeah. white. Is it white as an adult? It, it yellowed, yellowed. It yellowed a bit. It yellowed a bit? Okay. It it's like cream instead. Of, it was like stark white, and then it went like cream. Okay. But not like yellow, not like. I mean, you showed me yellow. pictures when I was growing up, and I was like, "Jesus, that gecko!" Is it was crazy. so white, and now it's like it's, it's like, like this cream big. White. It was just a little yeah. patch of color. <laughs> yeah, it's like cream white. Like I showed, I showed Harry. I think yeah. he was like, "That's the same gecko." I'm like, yeah, yeah, because I saw is. it. I saw in person throughout the phases, and I was like, "Oh, it's yellowing a little bit, right?" Yeah, because we were breeding our caps to high white um, lilies, yeah. females. And I we couldn't tell whether they were fraps until you know a, a month or two in when they started to develop the head stamp. So oh, like wow. it was just you know it was just full cream 
for the yeah. first, you know, four or five weeks. And then I was like, man, I can't tell which one's a freaking frap. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Oh, it's a stable yeah. lily. Oh, we do have one. Oh, pull it up. Let me see it. Let's oh, see it. I didn't we'll know this. until right we now. Do have one. <laughs> we'll end with uh, uh, your your yeah. picture here. Hold on. Let's pull this up. Zoom lens. Okay. Well, you can't tell because it looks yellow on camera, but this thing is oh, hella so white. Cool. Hey, right. <laughs> Oh, no, it's on my hand. Oh, no. Back it All up. Right. Well, there we go. I see his face. There it goes. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This one's cooler. That's we love cool. it. It's got a really orange head. Let's see how it develops. Right there. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. But yeah, yeah. imagine yeah. way more white in person. Maybe That's I should cool. fix the, the white balance on my camera. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Yeah, no. yeah we, we believe it. But yeah, no, that's good. It was good to kind of get examples, kind of get people yeah. thinking about what's and what. That's a, that's a good part, too. Be yeah, good part. I like maybe part two will be because this was kind of like cap with some sable. Maybe part two is sable, sable with some comparisons. Okay, that'll be good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Next one, next one, we'll do that. That'll be cool. So, yeah, we'll um, get some submissions in on the week that we. Uh, get that going and uh we'll we'll ping everybody uh the audience you guys for pictures of your sables and your caps and we'll compare and contrast so yeah let us know okay, if you like the miro if you want more examples like that um that i'm also great. doing instructional videos um <clears throat> i've probably got like 10 of them all written out but i need to do the voiceover either myself or jessica um morgan freeman. i have a chromatophore video so people know what the heck is get morgan freeman to do it. And yeah. stuff. Dude, it'll be fun yeah, chromatophore. Oh, yeah. So we'll see your video next time, um, Anthony yeah. and Jess, about the chromatophore where it shows the three D model and the um the pigmentation filling into the uh, the pores and whatnot, right? Yep. And how it changes colors at firing up, firing down. So that yep. one's cool too. So yeah, we'll do cool. that. Next awesome. Time. Well, thank, thank you guys. guys. Yes, we appreciate you guys. It's always a fun time. Um, if you guys uh, have any more suggestions on stuff, then comment, comment, like. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe if you want. Share we it with a friend. <laughs> Share it with your friend that loves super caps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And um, and yeah, we hopefully that was uh, knowledgeable for you guys so that you'll be more informed of what's going on. So we appreciate you all. We thank you guys and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.